Yo, what's up guys? It's JTM. Hope you're all having a great day wherever you are. I'm out here enjoying some beautiful weather in New York. I want to jump on it real quick and share with you and break down one of my favorite functional anti-lateral flexion core movements, the single arm suitcase carry. So this is a highly functional movement. Obviously, we're holding things in our lives, whether it be groceries, things around the house, our children. <laughs> we're always holding things off to one side of the body. So it's a fantastic movement, again, just for that functionality and really just building functional core strength and stability. So you can use a kettlebell, which I highly prefer with this exercise. You can also use dumbbells, you can use sandbags, whatever you have that's gonna really challenge the core. So first things first, you wanna hold that object, whatever it be, I'm using a kettlebell here in this example, out to the side of the body. So the further we bring that bell out to the side of the body, the harder it's gonna be on that contralateral side of the core. So it's gonna be the opposite side. So this weight is gonna pulling me down. I wanna squeeze that oblique to create and keep that good posture throughout this movement. I see way too many people keeping the weight against the body. So yeah, it's still gonna be challenging when we add a lot of weight to that, but it's much more effective. We're gonna build more strength when we hold that weight out to the side and do not let it touch the leg throughout the movement. So again, it's the opposite side, it's that contralateral side. Really squeeze, keep that tight. Chest nice and tall, weight out to the side of the body, shoulder blades down and back. This is also gonna work forearm strength, grip strength, and just full body strength. You're gonna feel in the lower body, feel in that upper body. You're also gonna be hitting the traps with this movement as well. So now, this is challenging enough, just holding the weight. When we add a dynamic component to it, it makes it even that much more challenging and that much more functional. So. We start off, we're going heel to toe, all right? Don't just rush the movement like this. We're not in a race, all right? Heel to toe, keep everything tight, keep good posture, nice control. Going backwards, same thing. I like going backwards or adding that backwards walk to create even more instability with this movement and getting more gains with it. So again, just front to back, nice and controlled. Obviously switch sides. I'd say aim for a distance, so maybe you have you know, 50, 60 feet on one side and then hit the other, or you could do it for time. So go for 45 to 60 seconds. It's Jack over there causing a ruckus. 45 to 60 seconds on each side, hit three sets to get those functional core gains. 